Hi there, it's Josh Colbeck here from Advanced Coupons and welcome back to another knowledge base video where we're going to go through how to schedule a coupon and the scheduling features inside of Advanced Coupons for WooCommerce. So today I am just inside of my Advanced Coupons demo site and I'm going to create a coupon. So this is the, the coupon interface that you see when you have uh, WooCommerce installed with the default coupon behavior plus also the advanced coupons plugin which gives you all of these extra tabs here now today we're going to focus on the scheduler so let's just give our coupon and a name i'm going to call it example it'll be a say a 50 percent discount on on whatever they're ordering and i'm going to schedule this coupon to start at a future date so in this scheduler tab here, you'll see a few fields. So the first one is coupon start date. And this lets you, if you click on that field, it'll bring open a, a little calendar thing here and you can pick exactly when that's going to start. So for example, if I want to have that start tomorrow, the 28th, and um, I want to also set the expiry date. Now, if you don't set the expiry date, it basically just leaves it open-ended. So there's no expiry, it'll continue to, to operate. After, as long as the, the start date has been met. And likewise, you can, do, you can do it the other way around. So you can set uh, an expiry date, but don't provide a start date. So that just means that the coupon's active from whenever you publish it, and it will, when it reaches the expiry date, it will stop people using that coupon. So hopefully that makes sense. Now I'm going to set the coupon expiry date to the 31st. So we've got a window of opportunity to use this coupon from the 28th, and that will be from 12.001 seconds on the 28th in the morning, and uh, it will finish up midnight on the 31st. So that's how you use the, the date fields there. Now there's a, a couple of extra fields here. So coupon start error message. Now this covers, uh, essentially what this covers is uh, if the coupon hasn't isn't active yet, so it has the start date hasn't been met, an error message will show to the user, and you can you can basically say anything you like in here um, just to to give them extra information. So um, let's just put in some some example text here. I'm sorry, this coupon is not valid yet. Please come back later. Okay, so that's the the coupon start error message. And there's also a matching one, coupon expire error message. So when the coupon's expired, um, by default, this just says the coupon is expired, but you might want to say something a little bit nicer than that. So, um, sorry, this deal has now finished. Please come back later. Come back next time. And uh, once that is all done, I'm going to hit publish here. So, this will will save all of the the details here for the for the coupon start and end dates i'll just go back to that schedule tab make sure that's all in there and i'm going to just show you what this does so i've scheduled the coupon to start on the 28th and today's the 27th so the coupon actually isn't active now if i come in here to my, my demo site i've got just some some random products here let's just add one of these to the cart we go to the cart page and I'm going to apply the coupon. Now the coupon code was called example. And when I hit apply, there we go. So now we've got this little, this nice little um, WooCommerce notice here. And it says, I'm sorry, this coupon's not valid yet. Please come back later. And if you look back here on the, the admin side, that was the coupon start error message that I set. Now, if I set this same, uh, if, I, if I just remove the start date, that will make it valid. Um, from whenever so if we go back to that scheduler there so coupon start date is now empty and I should be able to now apply this coupon to get my discount so coupon code applied successfully you can see my my discount there so what do we see what do we uh, what do we need to do here so let's test one more thing so let's let's put a, a start date that was in the past so let's just imagine that it actually started on the 23rd on the monday just update that again and i'm going to close my my little session there so let's open up a fresh session 
and let's call let's add this cap instead uh, go back to the cart and let's apply the coupon now what I'm expecting is the coupon will be applied because it's being applied uh, and the start date is in the past so it should be valid now there we go coupon code applied successfully and that's uh, that's all working fine uh, and I just realized I gave it a fixed cart discount, so <laughs> be careful about that one. Let's call it a 50%. Let's uh, resave that. Now, the next thing I want to show you is the, the expiry. So what happens when a coupon expires? I'm going to just shift this coupon expiry date. So today's the 27th. Let's imagine that the coupon expired yesterday. Update that. And I'll just I'll close this other session here. And... Let's check. Okay, we've got the 26th, so it should be showing this message here if we try to apply the coupon. Let's go and uh, give that another try. So we add a product to the cart, view the cart, and when we go to apply the coupon, example coupon, apply that coupon. Oh no, sorry, the deal's now finished. Please come back next time. So that's a quick summary of how the, the schedule works in advanced coupons. As you can see, it's pretty easy to drive and uh, it's a great way to just give your users a little bit of extra information um, rather than just you know flat out saying, boom, sorry, it doesn't work. Uh, you can actually customize it to the coupon. So uh, if, if it's a, a coupon about um, some sort of particular deal, you can give some extra information. Sorry, that, that deal for this particular thing is, is finished. We're going to be running a new one next time. Rah, rah. So just, just personalizing it a little bit can, can sort of um, make, make it feel a little bit nicer and more customized to your users.